Okay, we're about to construct one of the more difficult graphs this year. We're going back to Phaseolus aureus, and we're going to take our five-line graph for the average root length over three data days. And we're going to add error bars to them. Let's take a look at the finished product. We have our title, the effect of a one-half serial dilution of 10% XYZ, on the average root length of Phaseolus aureus over three data days with error bars. We have our average root length in centimeters on the y-axis as the y-axis title. We have the x-axis title as day to day. We have all of our x-axis labels, one, two, three, for each day to day. We have our five lines showing growth over three days of the roots. And we have a key showing the root, the groups by color-coded lines. And in addition, let's get a close-up on this, we have the error bars. You can see that in many places the error bars overlap. Okay, how do we make this? Well, here are the keys. First, you'll have to get all the necessary data for each group for each data day. You'll need the average root length and the standard deviation for each group. You'll have to arrange the values like this. You arrange them by average root lengths by data day, and then right below it, I have the standard deviations. Okay, let's break this down. I'm going to take my data for average root lengths and put it in a new spot. make sure I copied it. Okay, that keeps the format. So what I have here is for data day one, two, and three, I have the average root length for each of my groups the control, the stock solution, the first, second, and third dilution. Now, of course, this is all generic. You're not going to use those same terms, right? You're going to use the actual percent concentrations and the names based upon your independent variable. Okay, let's go back now and get the standard deviations. So what I have here are the standard deviations for each one of those groups, for each one of those days. Let me copy that also. And paste that so it keeps the formatting. So there it is. So in other words, this is the control average root length 2.90 on day-to-day -day 1, and this was its standard deviation. Day-to-day -day 2, 4.86, and this was its standard deviation, and so on. Got it? This is how you have to arrange the data. Now let's go ahead and make the five-line graph. Well, you know how to do this. We'll highlight all the numbers. We'll go to Insert. We'll go to our graph. And of course, it gives it to us the wrong way. So we switch row and column right up here. Now that looks more like it. Let's tweak it a little bit. And we can see, let me get rid of this. We can see what's beginning to look like what we need. Okay, let's tweak it a little bit more, pull it up a bit, pull it down a bit. Now we have a whole lot of work to do. We've got to add our error bars. We've also got to identify which line is which. Well, if we click on the line, we see right away that's our control. So the blue line, what they're calling series one, is the control. Let's right click on that and go to uh, sorry, let's go to the plus sign. Again, we've right-clicked on it to highlight it, plus sign, and we want to add our error bars right there. And we want to add them, options, more options, and we want to use the custom. We click into specify value. We grab the three values for the three data days, and we have to grab them again. And we hit OK. And there are our error bars for the control group over the three data days, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 0 0.9. It's about right. Okay, 
Now we have to do the same thing for each and every one of them. Let's click on the gray bar. The gray bar happens to be the first solution. We have to remember that so I can change the series names and put it and edit them correctly. All right, here we go again. Uh, we go to, let's get rid of this. Plus sign, error bars, options, more options, custom, specify value, grab, whoops, wrong one, got to grab the first solution, grab them again for the negative values, arrow down, OK, and now we have our error bars for the gray line, which is the first dilution. Okay, let's go on the orange bar or the yellow bar. That's the second dilution. Let's get rid of this. There must be a faster way to do this. I haven't found it yet. I'm doing each one one at a time. Here we go. Error bars, more options, custom, specify value. Uh, what did I say this was? The second dilution? Okay, let's grab the second dilution once and twice. Arrow down and OK. And now our second dilution has error bars. Let's get rid of this. Now the blue line, that's the third dilution. Oh, that's pretty good. First dilution, second dilution, third dilution. Easy to remember. Now I need to add my error bars. I'm doing that wrong again. Plus sign error bars, more options, custom, specify value. What did I say this was? The third dilution. Grab once, grab twice. Okay, now we got to finish up with the lowest bar. That happens to be our stock solution. So we have to go ahead and uh, click on the plus sign error bars, more options, custom, specify value. This was the stock solution once, stock solution twice. Okay. All right. We have all of our error bars for all of our lines. Now we have a number of things that we need to do. We've got to get our chart title, we've got to get our y-axis label, we've got to get our x-axis label, and then we also have to make the legend. Remember how to do that? I'll show you. Remember what series one was? It was the control. Series two was the first dilution, right? Series two is the gray line. So that's the first dilution. So remember what we do? We got to go to click into the graph design, select data, we have to change all of these. So they're calling series one the blue line. That was the control. So we have to edit, grab the word control, and hit OK. Series two was the gray line. Remember that was our first solution. Click it, edit, hit first solution, grab the first solutions uh, label, and we've done that. Series three, series three was the gray line. Gray line was the first solution, pardon me. So we have to change. Series three is the first solution, so let's get the first solution. Okay, now I have to change the second one. Uh, the second one was the orange line, and the orange line is actually the control. Okay, orange is control. No, sorry. <clears throat> the orange line was the third, was the stock solution. Okay, so now the control is the blue line. That's correct. The worst growth was in the stock solution. That's correct. The second best growth was in the first solution. The next growth is the orange line. Again, it's a little tricky. That was the second solution. And finally, series five was the third dilution. Okay, so I've got all of the series labeled correctly. Now I'm going to click on the arrow, and I want that legend to be, oh, on the right. Okay, now I have to add a text box there. And in that text box, I have to say group. Uh-oh, what happened here? 
it didn't stick. All right, let's go back. You could see that I did it right over here. Control, stock solution, first dilution, second dilution, third dilution, title, y-axis title, x-axis title. You've got to figure this out. Get it done. Just takes time.